friends. Happy Friday. Justin and I are about to head out and go camping. I think the last time I checked in with y'all was right before I went to dinner with my cousin. It was super fun. We had some great conversations. And yeah, besides that, I went to a bakery this morning with my friend Megan. That was great. And then I've just been like filming, editing, doing that kind of stuff. My contacts have been driving me crazy, so that's why I have my glasses on. Um, hello, Justin. Hi. Hi. We're in a grocery store parking lot. We just got some firewood. Oh my gosh, I look like a lion with my hair. Firewood and s'more stuff. And we're gonna go camping. This is my first time camping in my entire life. Justin has gone many times, and we're gonna see how it goes. I'll try to get some clips and stuff. I think we'll get there probably after sunset. No, before sunset. So yeah, we'll see, I'm excited. This is not glamping, but it's also not like total roughing it, and that we have toilets and potable water is my understanding. So yeah, anything else to say to the people? Uh, stay tuned, it'll be a great time. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, one more thing to tell them. Sorry, mom. We're gonna tell you this after. <laughs> is Justin just told me he found out that there is an active, an active bear? An active bear. Where we're going? <laughs> but I'm active sure, bear. <laughs> pretty sure it's a black bear. So if we go raw, raw. A bear is a bear. You know. A bear is a bear. It'll be okay. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. Stay tuned for our our bear adventures. <laughs> All right, folks, we are heading into the mountains, as you can see, and I'm about to put my phone, what? We're trying. <laughs> we're trying, we have some, <laughs> some traffic, if you can't tell. Um, we're gonna put this little phone on Do Not Disturb. I have logged off the socials. We are officially heading into Sabbath. Yeet. Is that the foot? That's the foot! Cool. Okay, y'all, we just saw someone with their foot sticking out the window. Obviously, you do you, but it's just kind of a sight to see. You know? They nice pass purple on sock. us, then we pass them. It's like a good marker of where we're having traffic. Yeah. See, now we're about to get passed <laughs> by the foot again. Oh, no. Bye, foot. Sock. It's a pink sock. That's a nice sock, it's actually. It's a nice sock. It looks like a really good running sock. It does look. Can we ask them where their socks yeah. are from? Can we ask them um, if we can have their socks? It, mm, since they're advertising it to the world right now. that we're gonna hope light on fire. Do you want me to help you do it or just watch? Uh, up to you, you wanna help do it? Sure. Hello, good morning. Um, Emily has survived her first night camping. 
It actually was not as bad as I expected. It definitely took a while to fall asleep. I tossed and turned for a while. I think we would got into bed at like 10 or 10.30. And it is almost 9 o'clock right now. So, got some good sleep. Um, yeah. Yeah, I feel like once I fell asleep, I slept pretty well. I borrowed my friend's um, sleeping pad and sleeping bag, and it was super comfy, so that was good. Yeah, it really wasn't that bad. Um, my hair is kind of wet. I don't know what that's from. I feel like it's kind of wet back here from the dew, so maybe that. Um, it was very cold last night it got into probably the 40s our phones don't have service right now so it's hard for us to know what the weather is but it was very chilly um but the sleeping bags are really comfy so yeah we're in our little cocoon right now justin just went to go to the bathroom and i probably will go soon and then we're gonna make some coffee and breakfast but i feel very cozy and mm, i could keep sleeping also we have to leave by 10 i think is our checkout time oh this is a good angle for chat um and another rule is quiet hours are from 10 p.m to 7 a.m and a campsite near us was so loud last night i think that's why justin and i had a hard time falling asleep yeah it was frustrating um we are staying on a larger property it's a ranch called arapaho valley ranch it's really nice and they have everything from like glamping and cabins and teepees and then like traditional campsites which we're staying on but because it's a larger property with lots of different options we have a lot of people nearby and so it's not the quietest spot but justin picked it and i honestly am so glad he did because it's kind of a nice like transition into camping because we're like by other people if we needed anything we have actual bathrooms like porta potties um and there's like a lodge if we needed to like, go use a real bathroom and they have like a bar and pool and like a couch and games and stuff so yeah it's kind of nice, um, but we actually, you know, like slept in a tent and did the whole bonfire camping experience. So, kind of a nice middle ground. But next time, I think I'd like to be in a quieter spot because these girls were really loud last night. <laughs> My muscles kind of ache a little bit. Whatever. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Put your arms up. Yay. This is the, the leftover of the glorious fire from last night. I'm going to run to the bathroom and Justin's going to try to start a little fire for breakfast and coffee. This is our campfire barista, Justin, Dr. Justin Geddes. Yeah, campfire barista. I think it, you should have that title. Our little stove. Thanks, Abby and Miles and Justin. And our French press and then Justin's favorite coffee grounds. But the one thing, oh, that's a horrible lighting. Oh my goodness. The one thing we forgot was mugs, coffee mugs. So, oh, okay. Thank you, Abby, for the cups. Yes, um, we'll have like, campfire sippy cups. <laughs> not sippy cups, but like, yeah, whatever they're called, not mugs. We're bubbling, we're bubbling. Don't have much hope for this fire because it's all with like, already burnt logs. <laughs> yeah, it's oh. Fire whisperer Justin. Oh. oh, that is good. Hi. Okay, breakfast. I got our peanut butter. <laughs> our, our bread. And that's it. Maybe some honey. These are our little... I've never wanted to wash my hands more in my life. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> I was telling Justin I woke up and felt like my face was so puffy. Because when he was like, well, you did have beer, hot dogs, just like s'mores, all of these like inflammatory foods. <laughs> so, yay. Oh, breakfast. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it was like, remember, we 
real fire makers never seen kerosene or gas to start a fire. Like, oh. Well, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Real oh, fire geez. makers. <laughs> Do you want honey? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Next time, paper towels and mugs. Yep. Oh my gosh. Hello! We have successfully survived Ellie's first camping trip. Yeah. So we have officially left the campsite. I've got Stitch here to tell you how he camped. He camped great. Um, I'm finishing some coffee. We are leaving. The leaves are beautiful. The vibes are great. We we're gonna go on a hike, but neither of us are actually in a hiking mood, we realized. And we're also at like eight or 9,000 feet of elevation. So, you know, dehydrated, tired, maybe not nourished as well as we could have been. So we're gonna go drive around and explore some mountain towns or maybe one and get some more coffee and something else to eat. We just had that like sourdough with peanut butter, which was a great like half breakfast, but not quite enough and it's almost 11. So that is the plan. And yeah, I'll show you some clips and whatever we get up to. I knew I was gonna feel really gross. Oh, Justin's cooking dinner right now and something fell, I think. I knew I was gonna feel pretty gross and just, yeah, icky after camping. And so the shower felt so nice. It is about 5.45 right now. He's making his own dinner. He wanted to have pork and I honestly am just like very much craving like a super healthy meal. We've had a lot of red meat lately and hot dogs and stuff. And so I'm gonna make myself some salmon just cause that sounds really good. But I figured I would catch you guys up on just kind of the rest of the day. We drove from, oh goodness, Grand Bay Lake where we were staying. We stayed on Arapaho Valley Ranch. I'll insert the hip camp location or like link down below in the description of this if you are in Colorado visiting sometime and you want to find a nice place to go camping by the way i am literally sitting on the toilet um because yeah vibes that's just what we're at right now i feel like my hair is also a really weird length like it's not short anymore it's not long it's just kind of that awkward medium length and i don't know when i want to trim it i'm trying to grow it out but i don't want it to get too <laughs> what is he doing <laughs> too i don't know like awkward length looking. Anyways, this is just gonna be random and chatty, but we drove from Granby Lake into Winter Park, which is like an hour or so outside of Denver. The traffic coming back versus going up on Friday yesterday was so different. It was like two and a half hours or more to even get out there, which when you know that's a thing, mountain traffic on Friday afternoon into the evening is really rough out here because everyone is leaving from Denver and other places to get into the mountains for the weekend. So it was nice to have a much shorter ride on the way back. And we stopped for coffee and a treat at this coffee shop called, I think it was Moon Frog. That could be very wrong. It was something frog. It was super cute. The baristas were really nice. They had lots of like cool coffee table books and magazines about like skiing and hiking and backpacking. So we kind of flipped through that and just chilled for a bit. But by the time we got in the car and we're driving back, I just felt so like internally gross. And I feel like the best way to describe it is when you are dirty physically and you haven't had enough water, you've eaten just like not the best quality food. I just didn't feel nourished, if that makes sense. I'm someone who like doesn't label food as good or bad or like clean or not clean. I think those terms are pretty disordered. But for me, 
I know myself now and being several years out from recovery from my own eating disorder. If you are new here and don't know about that, I've got lots of videos about my story there, my testimony with all of that and just kind of my recovery experience. But being several years recovered now, I know when <laughs> I need to be eating healthier and just more nourishing, nutritious foods. And I just felt that this morning where I was like, I've had so much caffeine and sugar and not enough water. I just feel like inflamed and not my best and so I came back wanting all the healthy food I made myself a big smoothie when I got back and that helped so much just to get enough protein I feel like one of my big nutrition things I've been just learning about myself lately is I do so much better mentally and just energy wise throughout the day when I have a lot of protein and I feel like over the years I have usually had more of like bread and peanut butter or something for breakfast or not as like protein dense meals and I have found that that's really connected to anxiety for me I will notice myself feeling more anxious and more just kind of all over the place mentally when I don't have enough protein in a meal and so I've been really trying to prioritize that especially with like women's health kind of hormonal health type stuff you need adequate protein to make adequate levels of hormones sex hormones and so I've been playing around with that and it's just been fun to like come home make a smoothie with like protein powder Greek yogurt all of that and actually see myself feel so much better and so running a little experiments on myself has been fun so that's my random nutrition update for you we're all over the place with this update but you know that's just what my channel is very chatty so after that we came back we got home at like two o'clock we both felt ill Justin took a nap I took a bath as you saw and we were gonna do some chores and stuff but then we remembered it is Sabbath we were trying to rest and not do productive things we are both very go 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 type of people and have a hard time sitting still and resting if you can't tell and so we're always trying to figure out you know what feels restful to us I think we also can struggle with the hyper fixation on what's right to do on the Sabbath versus wrong and that's just not the point of it and so having us just have a more calm conversation about okay like what is truly restful versus what is us kind of trying to like BS the Sabbath a little bit and be like well this is like technically restful but I really just want to feel productive kind of thing and one of those activities for me has been vlogging and that's been hard to figure out over time if that is a productive thing or restful and I think for certain seasons it's felt like productive I'm working but right now it genuinely has felt so creative and fun and so for me vlogging on the Sabbath is not something that feels like I'm working in a sense this is not my job I make very little income from this and so it feels like a nice brain break from women's health type stuff so anyways that's just kind of random little update there we are going to make some dinner like I said and then I think we're gonna finish Zootopia which is so random we just have a bad habit of starting movies and then getting really tired going to bed and forgetting to finish them so we're gonna finish that we've got like 40 minutes left in it and then I would really love to watch some sort of like fall or Halloween movie so I think we're gonna make a list of the ones we want to watch this season and then pick one and yeah take you long for that I think this is probably where I'll close out this video it is already pretty long I've started uploading the footage just to get it like in order on my editing software so I think I'll just see some b-roll after this but thank you guys so much for watching comment down below your favorite part of this video and any other fall type content that you want to see from me I will talk to y'all later bye <laughs>